All right, so here is the binomial probability distribution function. That's the formula that you use for the binomial probability distribution problems. Um, I work these out by hand. <clears throat> probability x is less than 4 if n equals 7 and p equals 0. 0.5. That's the probability x equals 3 plus the probability x equals 2 plus the probability x equals 1 plus the probability x equals 0. I worked all of those out. <clears throat> I added them together. And I got the answer was 0.5. There's actually a way to use your formula sheets. If the formula sheet has these numbers, your, your success, and it has the number of trials, here's what you can do. So the number of trials is 7. Go to your uh, statistical tables. This is under modules. Um, let me zoom in just a little bit. So we want to go to n equals 7. So if you see here, go down to n equals 7. So here's n equals 7, and here are, these are just common uh, success probabilities. So if my probability was between, was like 0 0.13, this wouldn't work. Uh, if my probability of success was. But on this problem, my probability of success was 0.5. So here's p equals 0.5. So that takes into account p equals 0.5 and 1 minus p is 0.5. You go down to 7. This is n equals 7. Here are all the probabilities. This is x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you add all of those up, I know it's a lot of numbers here, but if you add, and I can't just select those, if you add all these numbers up in this column, then you will get 1, because all the probabilities have to add up to be 1, in this column just for 7. So if we look back where we worked out, where I worked out, say, um, x equals 3, I got 0.2734. If I go to my table, here's n equals 7, x equals 3 for 0 0.5, 0 0.2734. Yeah, I know that's kind of hard to see. So 0 0.2734. If you look out where I worked out x equals 2, we should have 0 0.1641. I'm going to go back to my work x equals 2.1641 all right and so that's how you can get all of these without working out this the long way as long as you have the tables it's a lot faster but your probability of success has to be in the table so let's look at this one here <clears throat> this one was the probability that x is greater than 2 so one way to do that is you can add up the problem and since there are six trials you can add up probability x equals 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. That's one way. Or you can use the complement and say 1 minus the probability x equals 2 plus 1 plus 0. And that's the way that I work out the problem by hand. So instead of doing that, we go to where n equals 6. So go to our table. We have n equals 6 right here. Um, the success was 0.7. So we go p equals 0.7, so right here in this column, we go down to where um, n equals 6, p equals 0.7. So here is what we should get for 0, here is what we should get for 1, and here is what we should get for 2. So if I go here, let me see here's 0. Here's one and here's two. Now their answers are rounded to four places. That should suffice, I guess, because uh, it had point zero 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 seven. Um, if you start missing them on the homework, it's probably because of these extra decimal places. But um, I mean, it should work most of the time. And you can even bring these tables up during some of the homework problems, I believe. Um, I'll have to double check that. When we start working problems where you can use tables, a lot of times the tables, there'll be a tables button. 
But so you just add up two, one, and zero, and you say one minus that. So another way to do that problem, since you already have these answers, so right here, is you could say the probability it was x is greater than two. So you could say you could say three probability for three plus four plus five plus six. And you should get this same answer that I got here. Work it out either way. You work it out the long way. You work it out using tables sometimes. Uh, if you can use tables, tables definitely will save you a lot of time.